Shiva, otherwise known as the Destroyer, is one of the most important deities in the Hindu pantheon. As one of the three supreme gods sitting alongside Brahma, the creator, and Vishnu, the preserver, Shiva plays a key role throughout the mythology of Hinduism. Although his title of the Destroyer may suggest a villainous role, Shiva is a far more complex figure. So, who really is Shiva and what does he represent? Let's find out together, right now. There are a few different myths that claim to explain the birth of Shiva, but the most popular begins with an argument between Brahma and Vishnu, with each claiming that they were the strongest of the gods. Suddenly, in the middle of the argument, a blazing pillar appeared. Its branches and roots reached farther than the ends of the earth and heavens. Reacting swiftly, Brahma transformed himself into a goose and flew to the top of the pillar, but he could not find it. Vishnu transformed into a boar and tunneled through the earth to find the roots of the pillar, but he was equally unable to reach his goal. With neither god able to locate the end, they returned to where they started, just in time to see Shiva appear from inside of the pillar. They immediately knew that Shiva had great power and accepted that he was an equal and fellow ruler of the universe. Shiva plays many roles in Hinduism and represents many qualities. One of the most well-known responsibilities of Shiva is as the destroyer. In Hinduism, the universe is thought to regenerate in cycles. At the end of each cycle, Shiva destroys the universe and everything in it, but not out of vindictiveness or evil but to allow a rebirth and the creation of a new cycle to begin. He must destroy the universe in order for it to be recreated. As an example of the complexity of his character, in complete juxtaposition to his role as the destroyer, one of Shiva's other key responsibilities is to dance. His dancing symbolizes truth and is meant to rid the world of ignorance and help to end the suffering of those who worship him sometimes referred to as the Lord of Dance, it is said that the rhythm of his dance serves as a metaphor for the balance of the universe. These two roles combine harmoniously for his most important dance of all, the Tandav. It is known as the Cosmic Dance of Death and is only performed at the end of a cycle when the universe is to be destroyed. Shiva is also the great ascetic, abstaining from all forms of indulgence and pleasure, concentrating rather on meditation as a means to find perfect happiness. He also, however, has a darker side, as the leader of evil spirits, ghosts, and as the master of thieves, villains, and beggars. Shiva is usually shown in a yogic position. He has a blue face and throat, while his body is either white or blue, depending on the artistic representation. He has a third eye, which represents his insight and wisdom. Some believe that the extra eye holds onto his untamed energy. Shiva is also shown with a cobra necklace that signifies his power over dangerous creatures. It is said that the cobra symbolizes Shiva's power of destruction. Just as the snake sheds its skin to make way for new skin, Shiva destroys the universe to make room for recreation. Shiva is also shown with a trident, which represents the three functions of the Hindu triumvirate. It should also be noted that while other gods are shown with lavish clothing and belongings, Shiva is usually shown with simple clothing and backgrounds. His wife is commonly shown by his side as their relationship is equal. Shiva is also shown as a smiling and tranquil god, despite being the destroyer. His half-open eyes are said to symbolize the cycle of the universe. When he opens his eyes, a new cycle of creation starts, but if he ever closes them, this is the start of the end of the universe. There are three lines of ashes on Shiva's forehead. They are known as the Viguti and are meant to symbolize the immortality of Shiva and his manifested glory. Shiva is usually shown wearing the skin of an elephant and deer. The elephant skin represents pride, while the deer skin symbolizes the flickering mind. Wearing both shows that Shiva has conquered both vices. Shiva also wears a necklace made from 108 beads formed from the seeds of the Rudraska tree. The beads are said to represent all the elements used in the creation of the world. The necklace illustrates how Shiva is firm in his laws and strictly maintains law and order. Shiva's wife was Parvati, often incarnated as Kali or Durga. She was in fact a reincarnation of Sati, the daughter of the god Daksha. 
Daksha did not approve of Sati's marriage to Shiva, and in response, held a special sacrificial ceremony to all the gods except Shiva. Outraged at this slight, Sati threw herself on the sacrificial fire. Shiva reacted to this tragedy by creating two demons from his hair who wreaked havoc on the ceremony and beheaded Daksha. The other gods appealed to Shiva to end the violence and, complying, he brought Daksha back to life but with the head of a ram or goat. Sati was eventually reincarnated as Parvati in her next life and she remarried Shiva. With Parvati, Shiva had a son, the god Ganesha. The boy was in fact created out of earth and clay to keep her company and protect her while Shiva went on his meditative wanderings. However, Shiva returned one day and, finding the boy guarding the room where Parvati was bathing, he inquired who he was. Not believing the boy was his son and thinking him an impudent beggar, Shiva called up demons who fought the boy and eventually managed to distract him with the appearance of the beautiful Maya and, whilst he admired such beauty, they lopped off his head. At the commotion, Parvati rushed from her bath and screamed that her son had been killed. Realising his error, Shiva then sent for a new head with which to make the boy whole again, but the nearest at hand was the head of an elephant, and so Ganesha, the elephant-headed god, was born. Other sons of Shiva are Skanda, the god of war, and Kuvera, the god of treasures. There are many tales and myths about Shiva, as you would expect from such an important figure in the pantheon. Many speak of his self-sacrifice, such as the time when Vasuki, the king of serpents, threatened to vomit snake venom across the seas. Shiva, assuming the form of a giant tortoise or turtle, collected the venom in his palm and drank it. The poison burned his throat and left a permanent blue scar. Hence, one of his many titles became Nilakantha, or Blue Throat. All the time when he was able to tame the sacred Ganges River, which flows from the Himalayas, at one time, the Ganges passed only through the heavens, leaving the earth dry. After the course of the river was changed, it became a raging torrent and threatened to flood the earth. Shiva stood beneath the river and let its waters flow through his hair to calm its torrent. Another celebrated episode describes how Shiva became associated with the bull Nandi. One day, Sarabi, who was the original mother of all the world's cows, began to give birth to an untold number of perfectly white cows. The milk from all these cows flooded the home of Shiva, somewhere in the Himalayas. Angry at this disturbance to his meditation, the god struck the cows with fire from his third eye. In consequence, patches of the cows' hides were turned brown. Still angry, the other gods sought to calm Shiva down by offering him a magnificent bull, Nandi, the son of Sarabi and Kasyapa, which Shiva accepted and rode. Nandi also became the protector of all animals. These stories of Shiva and the many more that exist all speak to his complex character as a god that represents numerous themes and ideas. He is as much associated with goodness, benevolence and protection as he is with destruction, creation and time. Shiva is a fascinating and awe-inspiring deity from Hinduism that continues to capture the imagination of millions around the world with his many tales and many roles. The Destroyer, the Dancer, the Master of Time and Meditation, Lord Shiva. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great stories. Cheers.